The LGBT community has been fighting for their rights for years, most recently sparking a debate on bathroom policies for the transgender population. Here at Wando, one student speaks out about his transition. I had just played with all the other kids, like every kid played dress up, every kid played sharks and minnows, it didn't matter who you were. Mm -hmm. And then I saw this awkward partition where people started to go one way or the other. It was either sports and football or it was um, dress up and makeup. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that partition and I started thinking where do I belong in all of this and I wasn't really sure. From a survey of 100 students, less than half believed that they were well educated on the transgender community. Jay told Lisa, Lisa came down that evening, told me, and our initial reaction, we both just smiled and actually laughed. Um, not at Jay, certainly. Um, it was just we always knew, and we had talked about, we knew Jay was different, not different in a strange way, just I would call it more unique. I think that people believe that when you're transgender, you either lean one way or the other. You're either 100% boy or 100% girl. Take your pick. And as you see, I'm wearing nails at the moment. And I just find it kind of ridiculous that just because I have to feel like a boy on the inside, I have to look like one, too. Yeah, and I, will, I won't lie either. I was concerned about his safety. Like being transgender in today's society. The whole bathroom thing was in the news. Um, like Lisa said, these kids just want to go to the bathroom. And I think society just needs to be educated because they hear transgender, and like us, we're like, okay, so what exactly does that mean? Well, as a parent, you look into it and you figure it out, and you go, oh, okay. It's, yeah, you know, these, these kids are normal human beings. You one way or the other. I'm not trying to make you believe that, that I am a boy, but at least respect that. This has been Jenna Solkowski reporting for Tribe.